Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I'm Brian. A few things I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, one, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is over now, of course. Uh, do yourself a favor, throw away that scale for at least a week or two. Give yourself a chance to recuperate from all that food. So just throw that away and, you know, don't judge. I gained probably 10 pounds this past overnight. Merry Christmas. It is officially okay to take that Christmas tree out of hibernation and put it up in your living room. I just did that this morning with uh, my little bunch, my girls. Um, and that's one project, and that's one project I'd say go ahead and get that out of the way right now, today, so that tonight you can start something else. So why this video today? Why am I making this video today? As you saw in the title, I want to challenge you. I want to start right now, December 1st, a 31 day build challenge. There is 31 days in December. Today is the first. Every day, I'm challenging you to get something done on your project. Whether it's 30 minutes or 18 hours in a day, just get something done. Uh, start tonight. I was kind of on the fence about doing this because I've, you know, I'm busy myself, especially with the holidays coming up. There's lots of stuff to do with the family, lots of stuff to do with business and for work. But I'm going to blame this on Dan Schofield. He was uh, one to comment on one of the most recent videos um, asking about my personal project, which we'll go over in just a minute. But this is an idea I've been having for uh, about a month now. And so in the words of Sir Richard Branson, screw it. Let's do it. So let today be the very first day of the next 31 days to get your butt in gear and get something done on your project. Okay, so you say, you know, Brian, I haven't started a project yet. Well, tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., pick up the phone, call one of your favorite aircraft manufacturers or the one that you've just been thinking about. Yes, one day I'll, I'll pick up the phone and call them and, and order the kit. Make tomorrow be that day. Go ahead and call them, place an order for a kit, start with the, the tail kit, start with the rudder kit, order a set of plans. Call tomorrow and order yourself something for this project, for this kit that you want to do. And tell them Brian at Experimental Aircraft Channel told you to call them. Let's get this started. Consider this your New Year's resolution, except you're going to be proactive and start a whole month early. And so instead of January 1 saying, you know what, I'm going to start this project and get that going for next year. Why wait? Let's, let's start 30 days, 31 days early and get a jump start for 2020 and get your project started today, tonight. And then while you're working on this project, take out your camera, take out your phone, video a quick walk around of what you're doing or what you've done at the end of that night or at the end of the day and, and share that. Go to, to your social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, prefer Facebook and, and just share that. Share that with the rest of us and uh, you know, tag me in it, Experimental Aircraft Channel and just build it. Share this with your builder community, with our builder community. You know, let us be your accountability partner at least for the next 31 days for you to get a, a real good jump start on your project. You know, let us be your accountability partner or your motivational build coach to keep you going through this. I mean, 30 minutes, you can wake up 30 minutes earlier or stay up later in other 30 minutes. That 30 minutes, I guarantee you, will end up being an hour or two hours or 18 hours. Um, most of the time, as you know, it's just, getting, it's just getting started is the issue. Once you get started, this stuff's a lot of fun. You know this. So let's get started. So one of the things that I have read about, I'm sure you have or you've heard by now, is that you know making your dreams become reality or making your dreams uh, translate into your goals is something you have to do. You have to write that down. You know, make put that physically into reality by by writing that down. So right now, go find yourself a dry erase board or a chalkboard so we can write this goal down and make this a reality. Go get it now. I'll wait. Okay, all right, so you've got your dry erase board, your chalkboard. What are we gonna write down? So my goal is for January 1st to have my entire fuselage kit, meaning everything that was in the box from the factory, assembled, all right? So I'm gonna write on my board, J1, 
January 1st, January 1st, fuselage complete. Okay, the other goal for this next year, which would be ending in 2021, is to fly the plane. So I'm gonna put another goal, go ahead and write your goal on the board as well. What is your year goal, one year out goal? January, January 1st, 2021, fly the plane. So this has now become reality. We've written this down. Now it's time to get out there and get it done. That last clip was a little bit dark. I apologize for that. Also, if, if you're new to this channel, if you're brand new here, um, this is not my normal style. I don't usually do vlog style. Actually, I did that very first on and I learned my lesson from it. So this is not gonna be my typical moving forward. But for 31 days, I'm gonna do my best to do a video like this every day, aside from my weekly posts about uh, builders and manufacturers. So um, last thing in this video for today, um, uh, as Dan Schofield, thank you Dan, had commented earlier requesting that I give an update on my build and what am I doing with my build. So I'm gonna do that really quick right now and kind of give you a walk around of my project. Um, sorry about the clip before, I know it was a little bit dark, but I wanted to show the dry erase board. So my personal project is a Zenith uh, CH750 Cruiser. I've been working on it off and on for about five years. I was one of the first people to receive a set of plans when the plans became available for the Cruiser. And my idea was to do a, a scratch build build um, because I just I really enjoy working with metal. I like the, the medium of, of metal versus other things. Not that I'm against it, it's just that I like the touch, taste, smell, feel of aluminum, I guess. So that's why I decided to go uh, this route. In the past, I'd start a couple other projects. I built um, the frame of a two-third scale Jenny, early bird Jenny. That's how I, I learned how to um, gas weld. Uh, I built that to the frame stage and sold that to start an RV6 project. A wing and tail kit of that. I uh, actually had two of those and life happened and I ended up selling those kits twice. So when I got back into it, I figured I would um, choose something that was fairly fast to build instead of a 3,000 hour build. Maybe like these are supposed to be four or 500 on the airframe. You might be flying between 800 to 1,000. So that's why I chose this path this time. I hope to be building many other aircraft in the future. So that's the cruiser. That's what I'm building right now. Um, the tail is done. I ordered that as a kit because I didn't see much advantage scratch building versus ordering the kit as far as money or time savings on that, plus to get me just started in building again because it had been several years. So scratch, or, uh, I built the uh, tail kit from a kit. That's 99% done, hanging in storage. The wings, I literally manufactured, scratch built every last part, and those bits and pieces are here and there and spread out. I got skins coiled up over in the corner over there. All the parts are made, I just literally have to put them together. But jumping ahead after moving so so much the last couple of years, I wanted to kind of catch up on some some much needed building. So I decided to purchase the kit, the fuselage as a kit instead of scratch building. And right now the tail cone is nearly done. So that's where I'm at in my project. But again, my goal in the next 31 days, every day to do something and get this done. It's supposed to have been done before the land, but life got in the way. Um, so again, January 1st, fuselage to be done. I'll give you a quick walk around of what's been done so far. Okay, so as you can see, the fuselage tail cone is nearly all done. I did choose to go ahead and prime um, not just the mating structures, but uh, the internal surfaces because I live in Florida, very high humid environment. Uh, I'm not really close to the ocean, but it is within an hour flight and I plan on doing a lot of beach, um, beach flights and beach runs. So everything is um, getting pretty well buttoned up here on the fuselage. Uh, the only thing remaining really is the top, the top skin to be riveted on the edges. Um, that'll, that'll happen here really soon. If there's something that I, I missed and have to climb back in it later on, so be it. I'd rather have this done and kind of marked off the checklist then to leave it open forever and ever and ever um, and just get it done 
Um, not that I'm rushing this, but there's certain things that if you just leave open and open and open, they don't get done. So my advice is just to keep keep moving on it and um, you know get get some stuff marked off of your checklist as you're building. Now, again, I I primed all the mating surfaces as instructed. I decided not to go with the Cortex and just use um, a primer. Um, just to make sure that, again that there's no corrosion in between here. At this very moment in time, what I'm working on next is getting this part riveted and bolted. There's a few bolts that go in here, as you guys are well aware, are well aware of. Um, and according to the instructions, you've learned by now probably that it looks like from the photo guide that at this point you can just rivet and bolt. But no, at this point you need to put all this stuff up here just to sort of align everything and then remove this as an assembly so you can have access here to get the bolts and nuts um, torqued down um, in that area. So uh, that's the fuselage. Uh, I've got other various parts of course up on the shelf um, for the rest of the fuselage kit. Uh, spar web material uh, so this is actually my spar web material right here that I have already cut and ready to go um, for building the wings. Uh, up top I've got the spar caps made. Uh, there is the rest of the fuselage landing gear, uh, baggage area, and, and so forth. So I know it seems like there's not a whole lot to show at the moment because everything is either in boxes or on the shelf, but as soon as this gets off the build table, which will be Hopefully in 31 days, right? The next step will be to put that on the gear, move that to the side, and then pull all my wing parts back out of storage and boxes and get that wing assembled. So it should start to pick up some more momentum from here on out. Guys, I hope you'll join me on this 31 day build challenge and uh, get some stuff done on your project. Post it, share it. Hopefully we can motivate and uh, inspire some more people to get some things done this December and get a good launch into 2020. Again, if this is your first time here, uh, I invite you to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button on these videos, follow along and help me build this community of uh, experimental light sport and ultralight builders and flyers. And if you haven't gotten involved in building or flying, I invite you now to get started. Remember, just build it, but build it right now. <laughs>